Crazy Mike, crazymikesapps.com, with an iPad app demo for 1A Easy Writer by InfoVault. This application is in the productivity category, works on an iPad or iPad 2, currently sells for only 99 cents. Okay, this is a clean, straightforward text editor for your iPad, featuring some extra nice functionality for your mobile word processing needs. Let's go ahead and check it out. Here's the opening screen. I have currently have saved this document. I've actually popped in a, a letter there by accident showing the diacritical marks. And you do that by actually holding down on an, a vowel and you can see the different, uh, different diacritical marks as they come up and you can drag your finger over to the one you want. I'll just put O. Oh, I'm going to delete both of those because that doesn't make sense. Now, there's a bunch of other memory keys that are provided for you up top here, and they, they'll take you to the front of the word, the back of the word. There's an undo, there's a do again, or a change. Also, on the far left are uppercase and lowercase for the word that you're at. If you want to uppercase writer, you can tap that. If you want to lowercase it, you lowercase it. Now, those are just a couple of examples. Below the main memory bar is some other functionality. You have a word check there which is the check mark you can actually check the dictionary you can actually hold on there um, let's see if we spell something wrong like uh, we'll put stupid with an E and then we'll check it and we don't have anything so we'll tap it again we'll tap there it'll give us a suggestion and it'll give us a couple of words we can tap on stupider and it puts it in there there is a dictionary in here as well as a thesaurus you can access now Twitter is here you can actually tweet whatever you're doing by tapping there I'm in airplane mode now so we're gonna say okay and we're not gonna do that cancel um, we also have a couple of fast or high buttons here that will take you this one allows you to actually drag you know what you want to do whether you want to cut and paste and so on uh, this one actually covers it all so you don't have to hold your finger up there and then this one just takes you to the end you can tap there and it puts you right back at the end of the sentence now you can get rid of all of this actually one more button the, the book there will take you to Wiktionary and Wikipedia for research now we can tap off of there it closes down the keyboard you can also tap back up there if you hold on the keyboard button on the bottom right it gives you a chance to undock or split and you can split the keyboard if you like that kind of typing this does work in both portrait and landscape mode as well now we'll tap that whoops let's tack that back and get rid of it I like the whole keyboard and we'll get rid of the keyboard now you're gonna notice an on and off button on the bottom right the on and off button actually will put this into read mode so now you can't do anything but uh, make it bigger or smaller with pinches and pulls out now again that's read mode so you can actually read documents without having the trouble of editing them uh, erroneously. Tap on that again, tap once, and it'll pull back up the editor. Now we'll go ahead and leave it in edit mode. You'll also notice in the middle you have one, two, three different documents that you can be working on at the same time. You also have a folder, and in that folder you can sync to Dropbox or iCloud. You can also tap in here and see that I have saved this document to my iTunes sharing, which is easy to do, and you can edit these by deleting them out of there, by tapping on there. All you do is sync your iPad, you got to tether it to your PC or your Mac, and you can offload the documents that way through the app section when you're syncing in iTunes. Very easy to do. Now you'll also notice on the far left there is a box. Here is a ton of functionality. Now we can copy, copies this to the clipboard. We can save as, which is how I saved it to the iTunes directory. Send as an email, send as an email attachment, send as a tweet, which you can do from within the actual document. And then you can also open in an app. So there's a bunch of apps like Pages and Evernote, Phraseology, Dropbox that actually work with this as well as some of these other apps you can see and you can open this document in those apps so if you're working on something you want to stick it in pages or Evernote you can do that very easily tap on there again you can also print through AirPrint and you can upgrade to a couple of their other iPad apps they have a couple different iPad text editor applications that's it on the far left is a garbage can if I want to delete that I tap on the garbage can and I can get rid of it We're to say no again very clean straightforward text editor for iPad word processors very easy to use lots of nice functionality until next time this has been crazy Mike from crazy Mike's apps saying see ya